Catherine here. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. I'm really excited to share with you this layout I'm creating for Confessions of a Paper Addict and this is using the Salon Builder Cut file. This was part of the February release. So a couple of months ago Virginia had asked the design team you know what cut file she could create um, which was kind of like a build a scene. So I decided on this salon. Now the rest of the design team came up with some fantastic ideas and so there's things like build a playground, build a wreath, build a first aid kit, um, a coffee bar, there's all sorts of things. So if you get the opportunity go and check that, that out on the Etsy store. I'll leave links in the description box below. But as you can see I'm building out this scene here and I've got this photo of my son and I that I'm backing on this 6x6 six six paper. Now the collection I'm using here is the Days of Splendor collection by Pink Fresh Studio. And it's a very autumn themed um, kit, but I'm, I'm using it in this way and it's I really like the colors and I hadn't used it before, so I really wanted to get in and use it. So as you can see, I'm just backing this photo with a couple of layers of paper to make sure it stands off the page. Now, I did have to turn this photo black and white because it was taken inside and the quality of the photo wasn't great, but this was just taken in our bathroom as a quick selfie while my son was trying to style my hair um, before we were going out for lunch one day. And I'm just, as you can see, trying to see if I can add some more um, paper to that photo photo layer but I do decide just to go with those two sheets of paper and as you can see I've got the few different elements and now I'm going to start to add embellishments in and around um, these different scenes but first of all I'm going to build out my title which is going to be my cute hairstylist and I'm using the different fonts from this collection and so one's this um, scripty font which I'm going to use to spell out the word cute and the other font is these little mini alphas in different colors and I really like how the two different um, styles of alphas work in this collection so I wanted to use them both and I'm just here going through and picking out different colors to make it um, you know to use up all the different colors in the collection and space out the different colors throughout the word so I'm just going ahead and spelling out stylist hairstylist and to be honest this layout comes together really quickly um, these cut files were pretty simple to back um, I just used sort of the trace and cut and then stuck them down um, and they're pretty simple designs so I used a mixture of the 12 by 12 paper and the 6 by 6 paper to back these different elements so as you would have seen from the photo in the beginning in my introduction. Um, it does come with two other pieces which are a little bit more male um, specific in a salon. So some clippers and like a shaving kind of um, brush. And so I didn't use those but you know you could and I've actually cut this cut file out in some black cardstock that I think I will use to create another layout um, of my son's haircut. And so as you can see I'm just using the different elements from the collection so some puffy stickers some die cut ephemera um, just to build out a few of these clusters I'm going to end up making kind of three clusters around the layout but I'm also using these frames in the background as if they're you know frames on a wall and I'm just changing these florals out. I do love the florals in this collection. Um, yeah, I think I was a bit overwhelmed with this um, layout because I hadn't used this collection before. And so I had a ton of embellishments to try and use. So I did actually go ahead off camera and stick all of that down. Now I've just stuck it down flat to the, flat to the page. I didn't put anything up on foam tape here and now I'm just going ahead and adding to these clusters so adding some more florals in and sticking those down um, and I'm going to go ahead and try and stick down these frames 
And now I'm pulling out the sticker sheet. So like I said, there's a lot to this collection and I was trying to make a lot of different things work. So um, yeah, excuse me for fussing around a bit, but I am showing you the whole process apart from the sticking down of, um, of the cut file before. So I'm gonna try and get another frame um, in this background here. And I thought that might work, but it was a little bit big. And I did like the look of this sticker which says having fun. So Seb was definitely having fun um, trying to style my hair. And I'm gonna add a third cluster here, just with, um, this is this will be my smallest cluster. So it's just gonna um, have the one lot of florals and that sticker on the photo. And then in the six by six paper pack, I did find this frame that I wanted to use as part of the background there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fussy cut that out and then put it in between these circular frames for the background. And that top one, that top frame, the green frame, it says uh, me and you, and it's got the, the number two. So I thought that was fitting. So I'm just working out um, where I can put that uh, as I didn't want them to line up, so I wanted them to be a bit staggered. So I'm going to put that down a little bit lower and then go ahead and stick down this other round frame. And I'm really liking how this is coming together. Um, like I said, the cut files were pretty simple to back and I felt like, yeah, it kind of, you know, the builder cut files really sort of um, dictate um, your page a little bit and I really like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more embellishments here. So I've got this captured sticker and I really wanted to make these bows work but I couldn't I couldn't work out how to make them work on the page. I'll get them onto the next one hopefully and I'm just trialing a few of these different florals and a few other bits and pieces but Again, yeah, I felt like I'd build out those clusters enough, but I do still try some of the more of these florals. But while I'm doing that, I should let you know that there will be a link below for the Confessions of a Paper Addict Facebook group. It's a great community to be able to go and share your layouts. It doesn't need to be a cut file related layout. Um, it's just a really lovely space to be able to share your layouts and, you know, get ideas and you know it's a really good community so I highly encourage you to go and check that out I'll leave a link in the description below and I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more circular elements in these two bigger clusters just to create a variation of the different colors and a few more words and these are like um, chipboard pieces. So I do go ahead and add that one in that second cluster, which is happy. And then I think I'm gonna pull out the enamel dots. So yeah, for some reason I really struggled with these enamel dots. I just think I couldn't get them off. So I needed to use my um, X-Acto knife just to sort of stick them stick them down a bit and I was yeah for some reason I couldn't work out what colors to use here but I do go ahead and use a couple of these kind of lighter purple colors and then I bring in from my stash um, some silver enamel dots because I kind of wanted to mix in some of that silver based on the fact that the mirror is that silver as well as um, the scissors so I wanted to bring in some more silver elements and I do work my way around and add a couple of those silver enamel dots, but I do sort of try a few others. So you will see me fuss around a bit. Again, I think just having so much in this collection, um, it was almost too much and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't easily make a decision. So I do end up, um, yeah, trialing them, a, a few of them and then putting them back and going with the silver. Uh, it's hard to make out on screen really, but um, yeah, the in, in real life they stand out really well. So next I think I'm going to go ahead and um, add some splatters. Oh no, sorry. First of all, I wanted to add some um, 
you know, some way that these frames were hanging. And, you know, after I did this, I really wished I had have used like a gray pen because um, I felt like the black stood out a little bit too much. But I think it, you know, I think it looks fine in the end. I do go ahead and just add um, a couple of lines of journaling here, just saying how, you know, Seb was happy to help me, um, you know, style my hair this day before we were going out for lunch. So I think, you know, having the black um, journaling and the black, um, you know, strings of those frames, it turns out okay. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the, my date. And I'm just going to do some, you know, um, rough stamping there. So, um, yeah, just to, just to fade that out. The other thing I do do is I take this, um, this glaze by Vicky Booten and I'm just watering it down to um, splatter on the page. Now on the video it really doesn't stand out that well but um, I think in real life it does um, yeah it just gives a bit of shimmer and sparkle adds a little bit more of that sort of silver tones around the page and I like how that um, how that comes together. So my layout here is almost finished so I really appreciate you joining me to watch this layout. There will be some close-ups at the end so bye! Mm -hmm.